In an interview with Australian musician, Joe Satriani revealed that he uses a special amplifier to recreate Eddie Van Halen's iconic guitar sound. Satriani is set to portray Eddie Van Halen during the summer 2024 tour, which will also feature vocalist Sammy Hagar, bassist Michael Anthony, and drummer Jason Bonham. The group will perform Van Halen songs during Hagar's solo tour, and they first announced the tour on The Howard Stern Show. Satriani has disclosed that the concert plans will be viewed from a tonal perspective. Yes, there are a few things you should notice. This was one of the guitars I used on The Howard Stern Show. It is tuned to standard D, which is extremely low and has 11 strings. These were my first two major blunders because I cannot play 11 strings and tuning it to D is something I'm not used to. They've been doing it for years, but it's unfamiliar to me. So a lot of things don't happen. Satriani mentioned that the concerts will focus on achieving the right sound. He shared that he used a guitar tuned to standard D with 11 strings on the Howard Stern show, but admitted that he wasn't used to playing it. He explained that Eddie Van Halen typically played in 440 tuning, sometimes E flat, and used lighter strings, including nines, and even lighter ones for the lower strings. Satriani praised Eddie as a genius, noting that every time he picked up a guitar, it was something special. Joe Satriani also learned from Van Halen's approach, emphasizing that Eddie's unique gear setup was key to his sound. He pointed out that Eddie didn't use the same equipment as other guitarists like Steve Vai, Slash, or Tom Morello, but had a specific setup to achieve his sound. Satriani highlighted the importance of getting the right arrangement to play certain parts, such as the harmonics in Mean Street, which won't come out correctly without the proper setup. Joe Satriani has emphasized that he is not involved in any internal conflicts within the Van Halen group, stating that his focus is solely on celebrating Eddie Van Halen's legacy. In a recent appearance on Sirius XM's Trunk Nation with Eddie Trunk, Satriani clarified that, like the fans, he is there to honor and respect Eddie's work and legacy without getting involved in any drama. When asked about his communication with Alex Van Halen or David Lee Roth since the tour began, Satriani explained that he hasn't spoken to Roth in a long time and had only a few conversations with Alex, none of which were recent due to the busy tour schedule. Satriani noted that he was never an official member of Van Halen and is the only one on the tour without a history in the band. He expressed that, while there may be issues within the Van Halen camp, he has no connection to them and prefers to remain uninvolved. His goal is to celebrate the music, give his best on stage, and honor Eddie Van Halen's legacy. Satriani also discusses how ex Van Halen on an bassist appearance on Michael the Howard Anthony, Stern show, who is Sammy currently already on tour, mentioned the forthcoming has been tour, extremely helpful it is time. in helping him capture Eddie's Nobody sound. else is going to sing songs from several eras of Van Halen, Sammy said. Dave Lee Roth cannot sing my material if he goes out. Still, we can do a handful of the early Van Halen tunes. 
I did that while I was in Van Halen. I have no trouble with it. We are the only ones able to truly celebrate all that is involved here. Sammy went on. We are inviting every musician in every town. First of all, wherever you perform, if there's a guitar player in town, people come out to watch Joe exactly as they used to for Eddie Van Halen. Therefore, if we have other guitarists, we will get them engaged as well as other singers. Come on, if Alex Van Halen wants to leap right away, or David Lee Roth wants to come out and join us.